Hey, I'm Legion. How y'all doing today? Back with more food reviews. Uh, I've been uploading so much stuff on regular work days. I, I ran out of stuff to post and I took a nap, but I'm back doing more videos now. I'm here today to review uh, Golden Island Sriracha Pork Jerky I got from Hickory Grocery Store and also Unique Multigrain Split Pretzels. Let's go to the beef jerky first. Um, hopefully it'll be better than the other stuff I got from Golden Island. Here's their pork jerky. Uh, let's see. Two fifty at Hickenau Grocery Stores. It says Asian tradition with a twist. With a twist. Uh, sriracha all natural. Let's see. Each piece of our sriracha pork jerky is carefully sliced, seasoned, and individually grilled for a unique tender texture and intense taste. With bold flavors of red chilies and garlic, this subtly hot and tender jerk will keep you coming back for more. And it has like the story behind Golden Island, <coughs> the brand. So, 50 years ago in the small Taiwanese city of Chang Ho, I think that's how you pronounce it, a uh, former medical student began a quest to create food that did not require refrigeration given the scarcity of resources in the country. By blending art and science, he and his family created a Golden Island handcrafted gourmet jerky. Thankfully, his son uh, brought their unique process to the U.S. for us to enjoy. Usually what they would do is a lot of times they would encase stuff in salt. For like winter and stuff like that. When the summertime came around, you know, they eventually, you know, used it like that. But I mean, that's like way in the olden, olden days. Today we still use the same unique uh, method of making jerky. Uh, we fire grill and kettle cook our meats to perfection in small batches. We use all natural ingredients, ensuring that each piece uh, delivers unexpected rich flavor, enticing aromas and a tender texture. From fire to sweet to zesty to smoky, it is a jerky that satisfies like no other. Golden Island making unexpected handcraft jerky has been our pet for over 50 years. Like I said, this might be well, I'm with it because there's lots of information on both packages. Let's try this out. It smells okay. I don't know. Not too bad. As far as sriracha flavor goes, very average. Mm. I think it's a 7 out of 10. It's only okay. What do you have for sriracha Golden Island uh, pork jerky? Now let's move on to the snack. Unique. Oh, it just depends. Unique multi grain split pretzels. <coughs> now this was from. Chuck's Country Cupboard. And they had to shelf stock with these. So this might be something like for the Amish stores or something. I've never seen these anywhere else. Man, read uh, Reading, PA. But it does not say Amish in the time. Multigrain split to put to the pressure right here. Seven grains, deep grain flavor. Said they have bubbles in there, bursting with tantalizing flavor beneath the surface. Song of Minis to serve from uh, Supple Tour, but doesn't have anything to do with this. Hollow Pockets create a uh, crispy personal bite. Bubbles right there. Uh, deep grooves. Tag a serious pretzel crunch. Right there. On the back it says uh, 
during our unique baking process, unique, you know, that's the name of the brand, but unique. We let the raw pretzel, the, I hope I said raw pretzel, not raw pretzel, set to perfection. Then we, uh, when ready to pretzel, it's placed in the oven when it splits open. Oh, okay, I see. It creates bubbles and crevices. And crunchy and full flavor, these multi grain splits are baked with seven grains and seeds to give you a hearty, flavorful taste with our slow baked artisan process. Each and every multi grain uh, split is unique. A Spanuth family has been baking pretzels for six generations starting back to the late 1800s. I guess this has been around in the original split up in the pretzel. It says 1921. As then we have used only simple ingredients and continue to use the slow break process to <coughs> provide you with the highest quality pretzels available. More flavor, fewer ingredients, and smarter baking. Said no added sugars or malts, no artificial colored flavors, uh, vegan, kosher, you know, and all that like other crap. Okay. Yeah. And this was $3.00. And 15 cents. They had a whole bunch of different types in there, but I, I thought they looked like they'd be incredibly dry, so I just got this one. Maybe in a few days, I, I don't know. If they're super dry, I'm not going to get any more. Okay. That's what they look like. I remember the giant ones. I remember getting the giant ones. They were huge. Let me find that. Looks like they're open some sections and stuff. Definitely different. They're not bad. They are dry though, but they're not bad. Not dry like I, not dry like I thought they'd be. They're dry, but not as dry as I thought they'd be. I'm mean, getting those giant, um, not the soft one, but giant snack things. Uh, what a hard dough pretzel. Boy, those are dry in hell. These aren't bad. They're unique for what they are. I'm well, living up to the name, see? crevices in there. I don't really see the bubbles, but I have to... They're not bad. They're definitely snack that will fill you up. I give these a... I give you a seven and a half also for the unique uh, water green split pretzels. Drive. So I hope you liked this video. Bye. Till next time, please. Take care, my legion.